I was trying to do my bit to remind everyone that even though you had a couple losses here and there, you still had uh, a lot of juice in the division because of the wins over Barbosa and Ferguson. So I didn't feel like you were too far off. I knew a win could put you right back in the ball game. Hopefully you feel the same way. Yeah, yeah, of course. And that, that, that's definitely what it was. You know, a, a great solid win like that of a great competitor um, in this division is, uh, is huge at this point in my career. Not to mention, before Nate Diaz got you in that third round, you know, that that was probably the decisive round, you had a great showing there, in my opinion. And then the Darius fight was very, very controversial. But then again, I know, people, it's black and white. You either win, you lose, and I guess you have to ride with that. Either way, tell us, after this Poirier win, uh, what, what, what do you think, my man? I mean, I, are you a fight or two away from, you know, going for gold? Of course. Uh, that, that's what it would seem like, man. Uh, just a fight or two away, right? just like you said. And um, Depending on who I get next is my opponent. I got to get another big victory, and, um, you know, we're, we're fighting for a title. So everything's going right to plan. You've had about 48 hours to let this simmer, maybe closer to 36. Uh, are there some names out there that you're starting to like? And you know we play this game. This shouldn't be foreign to you. Uh, you weren't too warm for it early in your career, but as of late, I, I think you're starting to dig it. You know, you matching up with, with a name and getting getting the audience excited. It, it all makes sense that all points that could be. Me and him have been, um, a, we've been playing back and forth about getting this fight going, and I think this is the perfect time now, especially if they don't give him a title shot. You know, I know he wants to get in there. I know he wants to fight, and it's been a while for him. So, um, you, know, you know I'm always down to scrap. Anyway, you know, whoever, wherever, I just want to get another one in. So me and him in New York or anywhere else sounds pretty good. The weigh-ins leading up to the fight, all the little the things that went on there, could you say that gave you an even extra little bit, bit of motivation, uh, an extra push in the fight? No, you know, that the, what happened at the weigh-ins is what was going to happen at the weigh-ins. Um, I was just focused on the fight 100%, you know, all the way from the start of my camp. To, to the fight, so whatever he said, whatever he did, wasn't going to give me any extra motivation. Um, you know, it did anything. I felt a little disrespected from uh, all the trash talking that I heard him doing prior to the fight and to the weigh-ins, and I just caught it how I saw it. You know, I saw he was doubting himself already, so I told him, and I, I just I'm just keeping it true with him.